Hey YouTube, it's ICU. Today is the day Mac users have finally been waiting for. I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 9 through 9.0.2 .9 natively on OS 10 using Pangu's official utility. All right, so getting started here, if you guys want a chance to win a brand new iPhone 6S, all you have to do is rate this video up and stick around to the end for complete instructions on how to enter my giveaway, which is concluding this week. All right, and getting started, if you're new to jailbreaking, I recommend watching this video in its entirety. However, if you're a jailbreak veteran through certain sections of this video, there will be annotations that you'll find on your screens toward the bottom that will allow you to click to skip ahead. So ensure you watch this video on the desktop version of YouTube so you can use said skip annotations. Now, let's get into support. So this latest Pangu jailbreak, like the Windows version, does function on iOS 9 up to 9.0.2. It is, however, patched by iOS 9.1. So as of recording this video, you can still go back to 9.0.2. I will have a direct link in the cards to my downgrade tutorial for you guys. However, that won't last, and there will actually be annotations on that video once Apple stops signing 9.0.2. Now, as for devices, Pangu will function on on the following, the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 5S, iPhone 5C, iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, the iPad Air 2 and original iPad Air, the fourth generation iPad, the third generation iPad, the iPad 2, the iPad Mini 4 and iPad Mini 3, the second generation iPad Mini, the first generation iPad Mini, the fifth generation iPod Touch, and last but not least, the sixth generation iPod Touch, which is what I'm going to use to demonstrate with in today's tutorial. All right, now chances are good if you guys are watching this video, you are on a Mac with OS 10. However, if you're on Windows, I will have one annotation on your screens now to my corresponding iOS 9.0.2 jailbreak guide for Windows. All right, now we do have to get into some important information. So if you updated your device via the over-the-air update functionality Apple has built into it, meaning you went inside of settings general and performed a software update, then chances are good you may very well encounter complications post jailbreak. However, as I mentioned more toward the beginning of this video, you can actually go back to iOS 9.0.2 as of recording this. So you can follow the procedure outlined in my downgrade tutorial. However, just note once Apple stop signing iOS 9.0.2, that tutorial will become irrelevant and I'll actually have annotations on that guide so you'll know when that happens. But if you did update your device through the settings app without iTunes and 9.0.2 is still being signed, definitely follow the procedure outlined in that video. However, again, once Apple stops signing 9.0.2, do not restore because you will effectively be locked out of jailbreaking and you'll be stuck on iOS 9.1. So you'll just have to deal with the possible complications that OTA updates sometimes cause with jailbreaks. All right, and for this jailbreak, there are actually a few things we need to disable, all of which we can re-enable later once the jailbreak has finished, but just launch up the settings app, so just regular settings, and then you're going to go to passcode. If you have a device with Touch ID, it will state passcode and Touch ID. And then from there, just turn off everything related to Touch ID toward the top if you do have a Touch ID sensor on your device, and then completely disable passcode lock. As you can see, passcode lock is already turned off for me. It doesn't even give me the option to turn it off. It just states turn on passcode again because it is completely disabled. Next, we also have to turn off auto lock. So just go to settings general and then scroll down a little bit until you see auto lock and set it to never. That way your device will not lock during the jailbreak process. And finally back out to the main settings screen and then find iCloud. It should be down a little bit. And then inside of the iCloud settings pane, what you're going to do is just scroll down toward the bottom until you get to find my device. Because I have an iPod touch, it states find my iPod touch. Again, that will be dynamic based on what you have, whether it's an iPhone, iPad, or an iPod. And then what you need to do is toggle this off, but stay signed in to iCloud. Do not completely log out of iCloud, just toggle off Find My Device. Again, that is crucial to the success of the jailbreak. You can re-enable it later once you're already jailbroken. So I'm just going to toggle it off right now and enter my password and I'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, I just put in my password and I did receive that brief pop up there stating that it was turning off Find My iPod. All right, now we're completely done with all of the prerequisite steps, but I wanted to show you guys which firmware I'm on quickly. 
All right, so now inside of settings general about down below at the bottom for the version, you'll notice that this iPod Touch does indeed confirm it is running iOS 9.0.2, the latest firmware supported by the Pangu iOS 9 jailbreak. Okay, so now at our computers, you're going to need two things. The latest version of iTunes, which should already be installed if you are on a Mac, just launch up the Mac App Store and check for an update. Once you install the latest version of iTunes, you're just going to need Pangu for iOS 9. So I will actually have one link down below in the more info. It's to a post on my site, besttechinfo.com, that will contain complete download links as well as written instructions for you guys. So once you download Pangu 9 from said link, you should just receive this DMG or disk image file. What you want to do is just double click it to mount it. And once it's mounted, you should receive a pop-up. So let's just go ahead and wait for it to verify that. And once it does, here you go. You have Pangu 9 inside of this pop-up and you can just drag it to wherever you want. You can actually even run it from here, but what we want to do is just drag it to our desktop. So again, we do have Pangu 9 right here on our desktop now. So I'm going to set aside this DMG and we're going to bring Pangu into focus here. Now, depending on the settings on your computer, you may not be able to launch Pangu 9. So what you wanna do is open system preferences and then go to security and privacy. Then click the padlock toward the bottom there, which will basically just allow you to make changes. Then once that's done, you're going to allow apps downloaded from anywhere. It's just the bottom option there. And if you don't already have that set, I definitely recommend it. That way you can actually run things. So let's go ahead and close out of it now. Okay, and we actually have to do one thing before we launch Pangu. Just plug your device into your computer via a standard USB cable and open iTunes if it doesn't automatically pop up and just ensure that the connection is established with your device. As you can see over here on the left-hand side, it brings up the iPod Touch because it has connected successfully. However, if this is the first time you're connecting your device to your computer or the first time since it was last restored, you will receive a a prompt on your device as well as your computer to trust the connection. It's important that you do trust it and if it is freshly restored you need to set up your device inside of iTunes before Pangu will successfully function. Once that's done and once that connection has been established you can close out of iTunes from your dock itself and then launch up Pangu. And now we just received this prompt telling us Pangu is downloaded from the internet. And if we're sure we want to open, that's fine. We always get that prompt anytime we download any app from the internet. So let's go ahead and just click on open and we should receive the Pangu interface right here. It has detected that this iPod touch is running iOS 9.0.2 and that it is quote jailbreak ready. All right, and one quick thing before the moment of truth, we do need to enter airplane mode on our device. So just bring up control center and tap on the airplane icon on the left there. And once you are inside of airplane mode, you can actually continue. So I'm going to bring Pangu over here and we're just going to click on start. Now this is just going over everything I've stated thus far. So we can click on already backup to continue with the jailbreak. And you'll notice there that we do have our progress indicator. So right now it's installing the jailbreak app. Just remain patient during this process, guys. It's going to load up the Pangu app as well as WWDC on your device. And now during this backup stage, this can take very long depending on all of the data that you actually have on your device. So just be patient throughout this process. It will definitely complete. Do not unplug your device and do not interface with it at this time until it actually tells you to inside of Pangu. So again, guys, that is very important. All right, now as you can see, it says to please unlock the device and enable airplane mode again. So we're going to do that, but first I'm going to just close out of iTunes because it did pop up since the iPod Touch rebooted here. You can do the same if your iTunes pops up. So let's go ahead and slide over here and then also enter airplane mode again, just through control center. And as you can see, Pangu is now continuing and it's actually moving on to injecting the exploit. 
So let's go ahead and click OK to that backup. That's perfectly fine. We're going to swipe over here and launch the Pangu app. All right, and getting a close up of this quickly, Pangu is asking us to grant it access to our photos, but really it's not going to access any of your photos whatsoever. All it's going to do is just utilize an exploit inside of the default photos app. So it is important that you do tap on accept here, followed by OK just to the prompt. And let's go ahead and refocus here. You'll notice that now the Pangu utility is continuing on the computer. And let's just go ahead and wait for it to complete. And now as you can see, it is inside of the Photos app, but it's not loading any of the photos. Remember, it's just exploiting it. And it is crucial that you do not interact with your device whatsoever at this point. All right, and finally, after what felt like a while, it moved past 90%, it's at 98%, it stated that it was cleaning up, and now it's just rebooting. So guys, the iPod Touch is now jailbroken successfully. It even says jailbreak complete over there inside of Pangu. And at this stage, we can definitely unplug our device from our computer, and I'm also just going to close out of Pangu, and we're going to wait for the reboot here. All right, so here we are at the lock screen. Let's go ahead and slide to unlock. Now you should still be inside of airplane mode, but what you need to do before you launch Cydia is actually exit airplane mode. It is important that you do have an active data connection the first time you open Cydia. So let's go ahead and swipe over. As you can see there, we do have Cydia on the second page. It has removed the Pangu as well as the WWDC apps. And once you open up Cydia, it will prepare the file system. Now, this could take some time for you. It does just depend and do not interface with it during this process. It is preparing the file system if for whatever reason you do exit or Cydia is not allowed to finish the preparing file system stage, then you may have to actually restore your device and depending on whether 9.0.2 is still being signed, that could lock you out of jailbreaking. So just wait for it. It is best not to exit whatsoever and definitely do not power off your device because that will for sure interfere with this process. And don't worry if you get that storage almost full message there, that's fine. Your storage isn't almost full. Just wait for Cydia to actually respring. I'm just going to tap on done to that. And again, we are waiting on Cydia to finish preparing the file system. As you can see, here we go. We are at the Apple logo now. This is just a respring. It's not like a typical reboot. So let's go ahead and slide over and we're going to launch up Cydia again for a second time. And now it'll completely load. And you can also go inside of settings and check your storage if you want 
want, but that's just part of the process here. So let's go ahead and wait for Cydia to finish reloading the data. Then I'm going to scroll down and show you guys we are on 9.0.2. All right, so as you can see down below at the bottom, Cydia confirms this is an iPod 7,1 or a 6th gen on iOS 9.0.2 with Cydia 1.1.26, the latest version. And let's also just quickly install a popular package here, Activator. So let's go ahead and tap on install followed by confirm, and it's going to go out and download everything and then actually install it. And we should be prompted to respring for this one here. All right, so tapping on restart springboard, it's just going to respring here just like it did previously. And let's go ahead and wait for this to come back up, slide to unlock, swipe over, and you'll notice that we do have activator and it works as expected. So I hope you guys like this tutorial and I do hope it helped you jailbreak your device on iOS 9 through 9.0.2 .9 natively on Mac OS 10. Now, if you guys are interested in winning a brand new iPhone 6S, it's very simple. All you have to do is go to free apps fast.com inside of mobile safari and sign up after you're signed up you can download one or more of the sponsored apps you see here in the main section just ensure that you earn points and once you do go to the fourth tab and then you see that referral link there what appears after the equals symbol you need to post it in the comment section of my iphone 6s unboxing which i will have linked for you guys on your screens now it's really just as easy as that and it will conclude this week so get your entries in as soon as possible all right and so conclude my untethered jailbreak tutorial for Mac OS 10 and iOS 9. If you guys aren't already subscribed, be sure to do so by clicking the subscribe button below next to my channel name to be fully notified when I release new videos. If you want to be updated even more often though, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.